Welcome back everybody. So today we're going to Sunbow Thrift Plaza in Sun City, Arizona. For those of you guys that are new, I love this plaza. Now I don't go often because it's like an like an hour or less, depending on traffic, away from me. But whenever I get a chance and I'm out there, you you bet I'm gonna stop by. This store is one of my favorite um furniture stores. So the last time I was there was like a couple months ago. He did tell me he was gonna be closing his store down, but when I went this day, he said he was bringing in more furniture, but there is a lot of furniture he did sell, so I don't know what's going on, but I'm I'm happy for him that he's selling. So I did go look at those lamps, but they had no price, so I didn't even bother to ask. I didn't need any more lamps. This is beautiful. Unfortunately, this day I did not bring home anything. Say hi! <laughs> Okay, I almost brought this home, but the lid wouldn't open. I don't know what it's for. I wanted it for a flower pot. Oh, the linen. I've been looking for linen or material to make some cafe curtains for my kitchen because I cannot find anything I like and no luck again. Maybe one day I'll find something. Ooh, I like this. It is different and it is cheap and it's from Crate and Barrow. It wouldn't go for cafe curtains, but I think I have an idea for this. So this frame my daughter did like. It was a Ross frame, I believe, but the price was really good. She did like the print as well, but she didn't have nowhere to put it, so she left it. My daughter and I do have somewhat the same style. There's some things that we do like differently. For instance, the basket here. I love this basket. This is my style. She really didn't care for it, and she liked this one and i really didn't care for that one so i mean it was okay but this one oh my goodness i loved it let me know what do you guys which one do you guys prefer look at this if you guys are into mid-century modern this is an amazing price it just needs a little bit of tlc These chairs were so beautiful, but I did not need them. So the price was for all three, but they are Ethan Allen. But whoever bought these home had a, got an amazing deal. So my daughter picked up this candle for $2.49. She got four of these. They were 99 cents for two. And she got some picture frames. She got that one for $2.49. And this one she got for $3.49. And yeah, that's what we picked up. I'll give you a haul flip with my stuff later on today. All my small appliances were thrifted. This was a great deal for $9.49 for an instant pot. Here I am looking for a candle. I have not found a good candle 
for a while my daughter did fine one at the last goodwill I do think these glasses are the set to the taller ones that I thrifted not too long ago. It was the same Goodwill I found them at, but I didn't need them. We really don't use them, but I think I kind of regret not picking them up. So I did bring the blue and white figurines home. If you guys seen one of my last videos, I did bring some bronze ones and I just thought these were adorable and they are blue and white. You know I'm loving the blue and white. Also, if you think about spring, you think about baskets and I found quite a few that I love. This is one of them. I did bring this one home. I did find a couple more at a different Goodwill, which I will be showing you later. Look at this though. Isn't this beautiful? Which one did you guys prefer? The one my daughter liked or the one I love? Okay, and then I found this one. This one was at a separate Goodwill. And look at how beautiful. The handles do go up and down. It does have like a metal, like some metal in there or something. It does have metal detail that I think it's very unique. And for the last basket, but definitely not least is this one look at how beautiful this is it is so gorgeous i've i've never seen a basket like this this again looks like it should be on a magazine and then for the price guys it is amazing but yeah i found me three amazing baskets I did bring this table runner home now I'm, I can use it for a table runner but I have a different idea so in a future video you will see I already ordered what I needed on Amazon so hopefully soon when I seen this lamp at Goodwill my mouth just dropped I could not believe it look at how beautiful I just wish they would donate the set the pair but look at how gorgeous this is and I know I have a lot of lampshades but I didn't have one that that I thought would look good with this one I did stop at Hope's closet and I will show you in a bit what I picked up these are the ones I picked up at Hope's closet now I didn't know if they would go with the lamp but I mean for three dollars a piece look at the fabric they're in excellent condition you know it's gonna bring it home and I just love the way it looks on that lamp but now I just gotta find a pair for that shade all year I've been looking for a beautiful embroidered Easter pillow something with the bunny on it could not find it I did find this one though it is cute it's originally from target but i mean it's gonna do the job it's cute until i find my embroidered pillow this one will work also i did find these beautiful pillows a while back and i did save them for this particular haul and i love the colors guys i did not know these were pottery barn until i took them apart i took them the pillow covers off to wash and I did find these the same time I found my mugs my pottery barn mugs I found this pillow too and it it goes with the other two pillows whoever donated this I'm sure donated those two pottery barn pillows and those mugs because I found them all at the same time but look at how beautiful this is now it does look lighter on camera but it does match the other two I just showed you so when I decluttered, I got rid of a lot of Easter decor, so I only stayed with three little bunnies. So when I seen this one, I thought he was so adorable, so I did bring it home. I do need him. Also, this here, I thought it was cute. I don't know where I'm going to use it yet, but I'm sure I'll find somewhere. I think it's from Cracker Barrel, but I picked this up a while back at St. Vincent de Paul. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because on my next video, which is right after this one, you will see how I styled everything. So hope to see you on my next video. Bye guys.